Hi again! In this lesson, we are going to learn how to paint our tarot cards. Let's go to start it. The brush that we are going to use is the number 23. It's the one of Photoshop's basic brushes. So create a layer below the ink layer and begin painting the selected areas. I suggest that you pick your colors by yourself instead of sampling them from the original card with the eyedropper tool. This way you'll train your eyes in the act of choosing your colors. However, if you really want the same colors as the original card, use the eyedropper, but I recommend you to do as I told you. Guys, be careful and don't go over the lines of the area you are working on. If after you are going to create layers above, as you can see with these plants, it doesn't matter if you went over the lines on the previous layer, as long as you painted over these front plants. And that's because the front color layers will overlap what's behind them. When choosing the color, if you want them to be similar to the Tower of Marseille's one, Pick up a LED whose colors resemble the one of, on the card. For example, in this card, we have a palette with orange and yellow colors. And then we'll try to incorporate them into the image. As we didn't draw the floor, we are going to incorporate the yellow on the tower and also the light orange, which is on the bricks of the tower on the left. If you want, you can choose other colors, but remember that in tarot, each color means something. For this reason, if we use the same or very similar colors to the Tower of Marseille's ones, our card will have a more spiritual meaning, so to speak. Given that characters uh, wear blue and red clothes, our cat will be blue. If we don't have another color to apply to the cat, I think it would be interesting if we, if we could apply this pattern to the other cats. When you've finished painting a card, I suggest that you combine all the color layers in one, in one single layer. This way you have only one layer with the color applied to it. For this third card, Card, we are going to apply the same blue to the card. We don't need another color. Besides, the main character is wearing blue. Anyway, as you can see, we'll keep the blue color for the floor and the original colors for the jar. If there's any color or element that you don't like, you can change it with Ctrl U. A window will appear where you will be able to modify the color to better suit your needs. What we are going to do now is combine the ink layers with their respective color layers. This way, we'll have a single layer for each card. The more organized your layers panel is, the better for you. Keep copies of each of, of your layers if you need so. Let's add some noise to the image. To do that, we go to Filter, then press Noise, and then Add Noise. We'll choose, for example, 16. This will make the image look older, so it will resemble the original Tarot of Marseille cards a bit more. Take a look at this little grain. Let's repeat the same process with the other cards. For each one, apply a 16% of noise. This way, all of your cards will have the same texture. Even though it won't be noticeable at, the, at a first glance, the change is effective. Now, let me show you how the cards will look at the end. As you can see, the style is similar to the Tower of Marseille. We only need to work now on the final details. In the last lesson, we are going to create a frame and I'll show you all the cards. Hope you liked this lesson and learned a lot. See you in the next video. Bye!